So wafer level cameras were, uh, you know, were proposed a long time ago, um, and uh, the first prototypes came out about eight years ago. Um, since then, uh, you know, the technology has been developed by um, outfits like Fraunhofer Institute for Applied Optics and Precision Engineering, uh, Heptagon, Anterion, Tessera, things you may have heard of. And it's interesting to mention that most of this early uh, wafer level camera work was not done by semiconductor companies, it was done by applied optics companies. And here is a, a picture of a, a fairly early, fairly large uh, wafer level camera, uh, dimensions of uh, you know, four and a half millimeters kind of size, um, three element lens. Um, and uh, definitely not telecentric. Uh, and a lot of the, uh, the chip manufacturers now are, are, are demanding uh, telecentricity for their optics at the back. So uh, uh, this, this particular design wouldn't have been possible. They incorporate IR cutoff filters, uh, polymer micro lenses of various indices. This is a very interesting device that I saw at a show recently. Um, anybody familiar with uh, contact image sensors? <coughs> well, they're uh, arrays of uh, grin lenses uh, aligned with a linear diode array, and they are ubiquitous to photocopiers and optical scanners, flatbed scanners. So they're a one-to-one -one image transfer device. So they take a uh, kind of like the push broom camera in a way. They take a, uh, an image of a, scan an image of a document one row at a time. Does somebody mind passing me a bottle of water, please? Yes, So um, this is kind of a replacement um, for the contact image sensor. So it's a one-to-one -one image transfer device. It has uh, equal conjugates front and back. <coughs> Total track of only about uh, 5.3 millimeters. Um, and so this can be a, a 1D or 2D uh, array of lenses here. Uh, requires, uh, you know, you have a, a, a 1D or a 2D detector back here. So there's some image stitching required because you actually have multiple fields that are overlapping. Uh, but uh, if, you, if you judge by this picture here, uh, you can see pretty high resolution. This is a five euro note. Uh, here's a, a blow up of this uh, insert here. Uh, they're talking um, resolution on the order of uh, four microns. And um, what's, what's interesting about this is it's much more compact than, uh, than many other imaging systems. Uh, and and uh, these contact image sensors are not actually made in 2D versions. So this could be a, a device that could uh, capture an image, for example, of a patch of skin, one inch square, uh, with a device that's uh, only as thick as a few credit cards. So it has uh, really some unique uh, imaging capabilities. So that could be used, again, for diagnosing skin uh, cancers and other diseases through morpho morphological analysis of features in skin rather than spectroscopic or scattering analysis. It would be uh, somewhat similar to the Melifine uh, device. And what could be interesting here, too, is uh, I can see that you could pretty easily uh, uh, insert filters here and even turn this into a hyperspectral imaging system that would give you even more information.